So my name's John, I'm head of Bears for Wildwood Trust um, and I'll just I'll give you a little bit of an update on Bocky and how he's doing. So we actually transported Bocky via van to Noel Fitzpatrick's centre and he underwent an MRI scan and the results from that came back that he actually uh, is suffering from something called hydrocephalus which is a build up of fluid on the brain. Um, unfortunately we're not entirely certain still what is the cause of that, we obviously will keep working to find out and, and we'll do our bit, absolute best by him. Um, but there is a surgery that Bocky can actually undergo. So he can have a shunt put in um, that will lead from his brain down into his stomach and it will actually alleviate the fluid that's building up on his brain. This is a very, very rare thing. So this has only ever happened that we know of, has only ever happened to one other bear in history. Um, that bear was operated on successfully um, by a specialist. Uh, his name is Romain Pizzi, um, so specialist international zoo vet, and he has actually um, he's volunteered to actually come to Wildwood, and he's going to help us, and he's going to perform that surgery on Bocky himself, which is absolutely amazing. So, I say you know it's only happened once in history, and we've been unbelievably lucky to be able to get the vet who performed that operation before is going to come here and do it again. So um, that's just that's the best news. That's the best possible result we can get for Bocky. Since the first sedation of Bocky and where we collected bloods and samples and we ran all our tests, we then put him onto medication, which actually uh, quite successfully for quite a long time, it actually controlled his seizures. Um, and we saw either we saw just some very slight trembling or we saw nothing at all, which was brilliant. Um, um, unfortunately, recently in say the last two or three weeks or so, We've just noticed uh, he, he's just succumbing a bit more to seizures again. So we haven't seen any fall, but there's a lot of shaking going on. And we're just not sure that that medication is able to, to cope with what's happening to him any longer. So that's why we've actually opted to go for the surgery and try a proper fix. One of the other um, scenarios that we have to, we just have to think ahead in these things, is that we're not too far away from the torpor season. And we got some very good signs last year right at the end that Bocky was going to go into torpor which is very impressive for his age um, so we're just thinking a little bit ahead and going what if he does decide to go down and have a, a proper torpor sleep this year obviously while he's asleep we won't be able to medicate him and then it just you know we'll, we'll have full monitoring of him but we just won't know fully if he's suffering while he's in his sleep so that's just why we've decided that surgery we think it's the best option we can do for him it just gives him the, the best chance of living a, a, a long, happy life. Bocky is, as you'll know, is unbelievably loved by not just his keeping staff, everyone who works here, absolutely everyone. They, people come up here all the time to see him. Let alone that is, is the, the guests who come in to see us and they come and see all these animals. And Bocky is just, you know, loads of our messages online are always about Bocky and how he's doing. And a lot of the photos that get shared are normally Bocky himself because he's just such a young, lovely, charismatic animal and people just really, really take to him. Um, so I just think it's good just to be open and honest about what he's going through um, and just, you know, um, really try and ensure people that we're, we're doing everything we can to, to give him the, the best treatment we possibly can. So we just want to say thank you to everyone, um, genuinely, for just for coming to see Bocky, for asking us about him, for asking us how he's doing online, um, all the stuff you do, it really means a lot to us as well. Because obviously you work with an animal and then you, if, when they, any of them start to feel unwell, it always kind of takes a personal toll on you. So it's just, it's really nice to know that he's cared about in such a, a wide manner. Um, and just want to ask people to continue supporting us in that way. Um, continue asking about him and come, come in to see him and see how he's doing. Uh, we just really, really appreciate it. Um, and just to let everyone know that we will keep you updated on how Bucky's doing.